Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defence Universe, getting you live from DSEI at London, and we are here in the India Pavilion. And uh, what better than having somebody with us who's a non-Indian but here with an Indian company and going to tell us a lot about this company's European foray? We have with us Adrian Posa from Axio Bio Solutions, which is a company which provides medical solutions to the forces. And welcome, Adrian, to ADU's chat room. And we'd really like to understand what all the company is about, what are the products, and uh, how much of a European market they already have. Thank you um, for uh, having me here. So, uh, Axio Bio Solutions is a company that is um, now based out of both Bangalore and Ahmedabad. It was uh, created in 2008 in, uh, in Ahmedabad, and uh, the, the mission of the company is to provide very easy, simple solutions, hemostatic solutions for all situations. And the, that, of course, includes um, the military battlefield. So the, um, the, the idea at the beginning was to um, come up with a product that anybody, absolutely anybody could use, um, even non-skilled medical and non-medical uh, um, personnel. So the result is uh, Axiostat, which is 100% uh, Kytosan both patch and gauze, which is different formats, and it has been um, in use uh, by the Indian forces for over 10 years, and now it has spread spread across the globe to many, many countries, and here in Europe, we are um, working right now with the um, Ukrainian forces, with um, the French forces, with the German Bundeswehr, uh, we have also um, started a lot of the activity in, in Italy and Spain, so we're covering pretty much all of Europe, and, um, well, it's been a very, very big success story. It's a completely uh, Indian story. It's a product that has been um, invented, uh, conceived, and is produced 100% in India. And I'm very, uh, very proud, very happy, as you said, as a non-Indian to be part of this. Wonderful. And uh, since you just said that they've been in the arm, Indian Armed Forces for very long, so uh, at the moment is the product very well entrenched into all the four, which I will also add Coast Guard to it. Is, is it already there with the Indian Army and in the Navy, oh, yes. Indian Air yes, Force yes. and Coast Guard? Yes. And do you also have a homeland security market in India? I would not be able to tell you every single battalion, but I know it's very extensive, yes. Very extensive. Yeah. And uh, in addition to uh, a European market, which are the other markets it has, uh, let's say in the Middle East, in the Southeast Asia, South America, Africa, North America? We, we have a very strong presence in Southeast Asia, especially in Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam. Um, there is also a strong presence in Brazil and Argentina. Uh, the products are both CE approved and FDA, so we are starting to build the American market. Um, but the American defense market is uh, very difficult to access, to access for non-American companies. Um, and we also started but it's very very beginning uh, to work in Africa there is also strong collaboration uh, in the Middle East with uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, the Gulf states wonderful and manufacturing plants are all in India or do you have some one, them? and it's in Ahmedabad in Ahmedabad right. and uh, Axio Biosolutions also has a very big market in the police forces so have you tapped that well we have in Europe mostly as far as I know, mostly in Europe, uh, especially in, uh, in France and Poland and Germany. So you have the police forces using the products? Yes. Okay. And what are the expansion plans for an export market? Current, keeping in mind that you already have a current uh, export base. Well, the, the plans are to grow it because it's, um, even if you make sales, they're not, we're not the number one uh, everywhere. So the, the plan is to establish Axio as um, one of the top three brands in this in this field, and I would say the strategic vision that brings that Axio brings is um, to go beyond uh, an elite product for the, the medics and to make those products available for the entire force of an any army, which has been the case in India with the great success. Right, and uh, since we are here at DSCI which is both a marine and a land, uh, home, land security systems uh, show. Do you think that uh, the show here will add on to a market in the Scandinavian, Nordic countries, that this part of Europe, which has probably not been touched? Absolutely. That's a very good point. We have not penetrated those markets yet. 
and I have meetings today uh, regarding that. So, yeah, we have um, we are very uh, um, eager to uh, participate to enter those markets, especially since um, the, the Russians, the tensions with Russia, are uh, triggering a lot of uh, purchases, not only in Ukraine but in all the surrounding countries. The other CIS nations and Scandinavia. And Scandinavia. Thank you so much, Adrian. Wonderful speaking with you. It's day one, and at the end of the four days, we'll come to know how uh, the, you know, footsteps and footprints have been uh, with this company. Let's hope that you know we really hope they have a great expansion, and all the best to you. Thank, Thank you so you much. much.